If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers.
And welcome to Wahoo Public High School on this Monday evening. So happy to be with you once again in such a short amount of time. After not being here for about a week and a half, it's so exciting to be back here in a couple of days spans. And we're going to be here pretty much all day tomorrow. We'll be here on Thursday, hopefully, and then hopefully this weekend as well. And so we're excited to be here with all of you here on this Monday evening. It is Nebraska City, the Pioneers, taking on your Wahoo Warriors here in the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference. The one seed versus the eight seed, I believe. I'll have to double check that. But Nebraska City, let's go ahead and look at the Pioneers first on this Monday night, coming to tonight's contest with a 2-11 record. Yes, eight seed. 2-11 record overall on the season under the direction of head coach Tom Allsweet. Their starters, number zero, Mason Von Felt, the 5'8 sophomore. Number one, the 6'1 senior, Keston Holman. The 5'10 sophomore, number two, Mitchell Hodges. The 6'3 senior, number 11, Kalen Fritch. And finally, the 6'4 sophomore, number 23, Caden Clausen. And for your number three team in Class C1, the 10 and 2 Wahoo Warriors under the direction of head coach Kevin Sheaf, start with the 6'4 senior number zero, Marcus Glock, the 5'9 senior number one, Keegan Brigham, the 5'11 senior number three, Kyler Elliott, the 6'4 sophomore, Cody Hesser, and the 6'5 junior number 11, Dylan Simons. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you on a Monday night. First round of the Trailblazer Conference in boys basketball. Girls basketball action starts tomorrow night. Wahoo comes out in their home white uniforms tonight with blue numbers and blue Wahoo across the chest. Nebraska City in their road black uniforms with gold numbers. They will be going right to left. Wahoo left to right. Glock at the free throw line gets it into the left corner. And here come the Warriors. Wahoo is coming off of a win at against Blair. Glock hits the three from the left wing. And that's a good sign for Wahoo as Marcus Glock, he averages 24 points a game, but boy, Blair really held him in check on Saturday afternoon here at home. He was held to one of his season lows on the season, just 10 points, 12 points, I should say, for the senior and Northwest Missouri State Bearcat commit. And he only made three field goals the entire game. So it's great to see him start one for one today. Underneath, great back cut and the layup up and good for Caden Clausen. He's the leading scorer for the Pioneers this season, averaging 11 points and seven rebounds a contest. And Wahoo leads three to two with 7-12 to go in quarter number one. Glock again, this time the three won't go from the top of the key. And back come the Pioneers quickly down the floor, right to left. Nebraska City. Three on the way from the left wing won't go for Holman, and Wahoo Simons gets the board and gets it up ahead to Hesser quickly. Cody to the right wing, skip pass to Brigham, left wing. He thought about the three, gets it to Glock instead in the corner. Marcus dribbles the baseline to the bucket, layup swatted out of bounds. Heck of an effort there. On the block shot was Mitchell Hodges, the 5'10 sophomore, got a hand on it, and with 6.45 to go in quarter number one, Wahoo leads. 3-2 to two with the basketball on the baseline, and they'll throw it to Brigham on the left wing. Right corner at Simons. Nice backdoor cut, and Elliott lays it in. And the story of the last two games for Wahoo has been Kyler Elliott. Head coach Kevin Sheaf told me on Saturday they would have not won the last two games if it weren't for his performance. He had 19 points in the win at Wayne last Thursday, and he had 20 points against the Bears here on Saturday and Wahoo's 65-55 win. So he has been spectacular here lately. He now averages eight points a game and has two, and Wahoo leads five to two with 6.27 to go here in the first quarter. Brigham, top of the key three. It's too strong. The rebound goes off the rim. Glock, a rebound, put back, no. I don't know how he missed that, and I think he was wondering the same thing. He just left the layup short. Quickly goes Nebraska City, and the layup is good on the other end. Now it's Kalen Fritz with the bucket, and the Pioneers... Cut the lead to one again, five to four, and then Dylan Simons throws it over, turns it over in transition. Stolen back by Elliott, up ahead to Simons, and he will just lay it in. I think he was wondering about whether to dunk it or not, and a couple Warrior fans telling him to hammer it. He did not, and Wahoo leads seven to four with another turnover in the full court press, and Hester, a two-hand flush. 
I think that's the first dunk of the year we've seen from Cody, the sophomore. He'll be fun to watch here in a couple of years, no doubt about that. Already is. And then in transition, that time Nebraska City broke the press to perfection, got to the bucket, and drew the foul. They're saying no shooting foul. It goes against Brigham, his first. He checks out, and here comes in Jace Kaminsky, who was also spectacular in the win over Blair on Saturday. He had 14 points and was a major spark the Warriors needed coming off the bench in that ball game. Inbounds perfect. Finds a wide open Keston Holman right at the rim, and he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. So 5.37 to go here in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 9, Nebraska City 4. It's the first personal foul against Cody Hesser and Wahoo's second team foul. Second free throw won't go. And re top of the key, Simons will try a three, miss it to the right. Kaminsky fought for the rebound and won it. How about that? Back to Simons to Elliott. Kyler, bad pass, threw it away. He tried to hit Glock in the left corner, but it was right when Marcus was cutting to the basket. Just unlucky that time in a Warrior turnover. 5.20 to go, quarter number one. Wahoo leads 9-5, to five. Nebraska City with it, trying to break the full court press. They've turned it over a couple of times against this defense. They get it ahead to the baseline. Dribbling to the bucket. Fall away shot is swatted out of bounds. Nice play underneath by Kyler Elliott on the layup attempt that time from Fritch. It'll be Pioneer Ball on the baseline right side of the rim. Another good run inbounds play. And Simons blocks the shot from Fritch on the fall away. They kick it out for a three and it's Barry. Keston Holman hits that three. He's got four points. And Wahoo leads nine to eight with 4.54 to go in quarter number one. Here's Hesser at the left wing to Elliott. Kyler looking for a screen, gets it up top to Kaminsky. Glock, right wing three on the way, buries it with a hand in his face. Now that's one of those situations that's honestly perfect defense, just a better shot. Elliott down the floor gets fouled on the layup. And we'll go to the line to shoot a couple after another Warrior steal on the defensive end. The full court press is really effective here right now. It's the first personal foul against Fritch and the first team foul for Nebraska City here in this first quarter with 4.34 to go in the frame. It's Wahoo 13, Nebraska City 8 after the first made free throw from Elliott and he's got three points now as Barrett LaValle checks into the game. He started on Saturday afternoon against Blair Played about the first couple minutes and then really didn't see him much of the rest of the game. And now he checks in and Eli Shaded will come in to replace Elliott, who has four early points and giving the Warriors a 14-8 lead with 4.34 to go here in quarter number one. Pioneer basketball trying to break the full court press. They throw it right to Shada at half court. Kaminsky in the corner. Dribbles baseline, kicks it to LaValle. Throws it in underneath and a nice layup from Simons. What an incredible find from Barrett LaValle underneath. And Nebraska City will call a timeout. How he found Simons on the backside block is incredible. 4.23 to go, quarter number one. It's Wahoo 16, Nebraska City 8. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25,000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for a new career... And welcome back to Wahoo, Nebraska on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public Use YouTube. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you on this Monday evening for the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference basketball tournament on the boys' side. It's number one Wahoo versus number eight Nebraska City. And with 4-10 to go in quarter number one, Wahoo leads 16-8 to eight over the Pioneers. Half court line, here's Holman. He leads the Pioneers right now with four points and gets it to the left wing. Dribbling it in, losing the ball, getting it back, and then stripped by Shada. Simons across the timeline left to right, throws it ahead to Kaminsky. 
Chase looking for some backside action. Gets it to LaValle. Down to Shade of right block. Eli will go up. Lose it. Got fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Eli Shada has been really good off the bench this season for Wahoo. The six foot four sophomore averages six points and three rebounds a game off the bench. And his first free throw is buried, a 67% free throw shooter of the season. The Warriors this year averaging 71 points a game, 28 rebounds and 15 assists. The key to their team right now is the way they've been shooting the basketball. 51% field goal percentage this season. Shady goes one of two from the line. And Nebraska City trying to push the ball ahead. Slipped and fell out of bounds on that far side with Sam Rovetta, who just checked into the ball game for the Pioneers. 3.39 to go, quarter number one. It's Wahoo 17, Nebraska City 8. Warriors with the basketball left to right. Glock, left wing LaValle. Skips it to Shada on the right wing. Down to Simon's right block. Dylan will go and kick it out. Glock, left wing three for Marcus. It's too strong this time. Rebound by Simons. He'll go up and miss it. And they call a charge. I mean, they called that charge when Nebraska City had the basketball. If you're going to call it, <laughs> that's what Kevin Sheaf was looking at the ref too, saying, boy, what an interesting time to call the charge. If you're going to, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't dis. I don't like the call. I think it was the right call, but the timing of it was really late. 317 to go, quarter number one. It's Wahoo 17, Nebraska City 8. Pioneers with the basketball against the Warrior full court press. Glock nearly got a steal. They get it to Holman on the far side, right to left. He has it on the wing now. Bounce pass in down low. Kick it out, right corner three on the way for Rovetta. Short, rebound loose. Glock had it. Kaminsky tipped it out of his hands. And now the Pioneers reset with another shot. In down low. Here is Clausen. He'll kick it out. Right corner three on the way is short again. This time the rebound is skied up by Kaminsky. And he'll throw it all the way up ahead. And it's tipped out of bounds by Holman. He nearly was able to hit LaValle streaking down the floor, but could not. And Cody Hesser will come back in and replace Dylan Simons. With 2.44 to go here in the first quarter, the Warriors lead 17-8 with the basketball on the baseline. Into the corner, Glock pump fakes the three, dribbles in, deep two instead. Yes, sir. Marcus Glock with eight. He averages 24 a game. Nearly got another steal. And this time the Pioneers break it. To the right elbow goes Daniel Adzania, who just checked in. And he threw it away. Kaminsky, another steal. Jace down the floor, nice backdoor pass to Glock who goes up and gets fouled. Marcus frustrated even with the contact that he wasn't able to finish the bunny. But it'll be two free throws for the number three free throw shooter in the state of Nebraska. He has been spectacular at one, getting to the line, and two, putting them in. An 87% free throw shooter this season. He has nine points now after making the first and giving Wahoo a 19-8 lead with 2.19 to go. Both free throws buried. He's into double figures with 10 quickly. Azania, there's Glock with the steal. He almost got it three times there on the third time he does. Rims out the three. Shada misses the putback. Hesser tries the putback and will go to the line. Boy. Marcus Glock nearly put that three in. Would have been a five-point possession for him, really. The ball stayed on this side of the floor for a little bit of time now as Hesser's first free throw is rattled out. Cody, just a 57% free throw shooter this season. He averages 10 points and three rebounds a game for the Warriors. The six-foot-four sophomore has a two-hand dunk here in the early going. Second free throw, bricked it off the back iron. So a missed opportunity there for the Warriors, and back come the Pioneers. Adzania throws it in down low. Brigham poked it away and saved it. Heck of an effort. Now here's Hesser, and he'll slow the game down. Brigham, he'll take it all the way to the left wing to LaValle, and down low to Shada, up top to Hesser. Cody into the lane. Nice pass to Eli. He'll go up and go to the line again. The Warriors are doing a tremendous job of getting the ball to the rim and getting to the charity stripe. That's the first personal foul against Caden Clausen and the fifth team foul against Nebraska City with 1.48 to go here in the first quarter. Shada back at the line. He's now one of three today. The problem is Marcus Glock's been the only one to hit two free throws. Shada 
Shea second free throw. Rattled it in. He has two points, both at the free throw line. And with 1.46 to go in the first quarter, Wahoo leads 21 to eight. Perfect job of breaking the full court press that time for Nebraska City and Sam Rovetto lays it in. It's a 21 to 10 Warrior lead with 1.33 to go. Glock one on five, missed the layup and the rebound gathered by Nebraska City and Marcus frustrated that he wasn't able to finish the bunny. Down the floor on the other end, layup won't go for Von Felt. Glock the rebound, takes it down the far sideline left to right. Up top to Shada, right side Brigham. Keegan behind the back dribble, lost it. Back to Shada. Eli to Glock, top of the key, good look at a three. Bricked it off the back iron, offensive rebound Shada. Put back Brick, rebound Lavalley. He'll go back up and get fouled. Well, Wahoo, although they're not able to make a lot of the first shots, they're doing a tremendous job on the offensive glass and then getting to the free throw line. They've had some good looks on first looks. Just haven't been able to put them in. But on the second, third, fourth opportunity, they're getting to the free throw line. And that is the first made free throw of the season for Barrett LaValle. He was like 0 for 6, I believe, off the top of my head. Before that. And his first point of the evening as well. With 61 seconds to go in the first quarter, Wahoo leads it 23 to 10 after two free throws from LaValle. Simon's back into the game for Wahoo. With 101 to go in the quarter, the Warriors lead 23 to 10. A little bit of a error on the inbounds. And now the ball goes in to Hodges. Hodges back to Walker, who just checked in. Up to half court. And across the timeline come the Pioneers. Down the floor, layup off the backboard won't go for Von Felt. Shade of the rebound, threw it away. Now Lazania comes back, gets knocked to the ground without a call, and Simons clears it. Dylan takes it himself. Bounce pass to Shada, streaking down the floor. It's an and one. That's the same official who called a charge the last time. But this time, it's a great pass from Dylan Simons and a great finish for Eli Shada, who's got four. And the Warriors lead 25 to 10 with 37 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And one free throw for Eli, rattles it out and the rebound gathered by Walker. Caleb over to the far sideline to Fritch. Or correction, that is Landon Ferguson, I believe. Yep, 21, not 11. Walker at the free throw line, lost the dribble, gets it to the left wing to Hodges, into the lane, off the glass, no. Good backside rebound by Shada to Hesser, and Cody will slow it down. As he takes it across the timeline, looks at Sheaf for 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Warriors will hold for the final shot, leading 25 to 10. Hesser with four, into the lane, shot blocked. Rebound to Nebraska City, half court heave, good if it goes, no. And that's the end of the first quarter. After eight minutes of play, it's Wahoo 25, Nebraska City 10. You're tuned into Warrior Basketball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson back with you here in Wahoo, Nebraska on this Monday evening for the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference in Class C1. It's number one, Wahoo 25, number eight, Nebraska City 10. After one quarter of play, we start the second frame with the Pioneers having the basketball directly across the way from us. Holman to the far side to Fritch. Kalen dribbles to the left wing. Three on the way for Hodges is short, and the rebound to Cody Hesser for Wahoo. 
The Warriors are doing a great job of keeping the Pioneers to one and done. Where on the other side, Wahoo is getting about three, four shots of possession. Simons into the lane, shot blocked and a foul called late. And Dylan will go to the line for a couple. Uh, few Pioneer fans there are here aren't happy with the call, but Dylan looked right at the official after the shot got blocked. So that's usually an indicator of, hey, I think I got hit on the wrist, not on the ball. It's the third personal foul, though, on Fritch, and so he'll have to sit. And Simons hits them both. Dylan with six points here in the early going, and the Warriors lead 27 to 10 with 7.35 to go here in the first half. Far sideline, it's Holman to the near side, Hodges. Hodges into the corner to Von Felt. He's trapped and gets it up top to Penny, who just checked into the game. Deep three won't go, and there's an offensive rebound for the Pioneers. Now underneath, the layup is good for Caden Clawson. His fourth point right around Cody Hesser to lay it in. 7.08 to go, quarter number two. It's Wahoo 27, Nebraska City 12. Brigham to Hesser left corner. Cody in down low to Elliott. He'll go up and lay it in. Over the defender, Kyler Elliott gets it to go. He's got six. 6.55 to go, second quarter. The Warriors lead 29 to 12. Nebraska City with it. Throw it into the backcourt to Von Felt. Up ahead to Holman. Holman into the lane. Nice step through. Layup good. That's a heck of a move. And Nebraska City calls a timeout. 6.41 to go in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 29, Nebraska City 14. You're tuned into Warrior Basketball, and we'll be right back in 30 seconds. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here back with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. This Monday evening, the Varsity Boys Basketball in the first round of the Trailblazer Conference Tournament. 6.32 to go here in the first half. It's Wahoo 29, Nebraska City 14. Warriors with the basketball up top to Marcus Glock. Marcus, deep two from the top of the key, buries. Marcus with 12. He shot it right over the top of Clausen, and back come the Pioneers as the Warriors come out in their signature 1-3-1 full court trap and force a turnover immediately. This was the difference against the Bears of Blair on Saturday. When the Warriors, they were trailing after the end of the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, Wahoo went in the 1-3-1 and really shut Blair down. Hesser to the left wing, three on the way. Oh, it got stuck. That is a tough break because Cody Hesser was right there for the offensive rebound, but Keegan Brigham stuck it right on the rim. Now there's something you don't see very often. And the possession arrow will stay with Wahoo on the arrow, so... The Warriors do catch a break, leading 31 to 14 with 6.03 to go in the second quarter. Nicely run inbounds, and Simons lays it in right at the rim. Dillon has eight, and Wahoo leads 33 to 14 with 5.53 to go here in the second quarter. Near sign, here's Von Felt. He gets it across half court, and Kyler Felt fouled him right when he crossed the timeline. And it'll be Daniel Adesanya to throw it in. Here on the back side, scoop hook shot is good for Clawson. It's the second time in a row he's done that exact move. And Wahoo leads 33 to 16 with 5.35 to go in quarter number two. Into the lane, kicking it out. Hesser, right corner three. It's too strong off the back iron. Rebound fought for, gathered by Rovetto, but then he lost the dribble out of bounds. Glock put a just enough pressure on him, bringing that ball down the sideline to lose it. And the Warriors will have the basketball back. Here's Elliott to Simon's right wing. Dylan to Glock right short corner. Marcus a little jab step, faces up, backs his opponent down, spinning shot, too strong, and the rebound gathered by Nebraska City. The Pioneers nearly lose it again. Simons and Glock are fighting for it, and Simons and Glock won. Dylan into the lane, step through layup, yes sir! 
Wow. That is an incredible move. He just kind of slow mode himself into the lane. And Kyler Elliott fouled again right at half court and we'll check out. That's his second personal foul. And Wahoo's second team foul here in the second quarter with 4.58 to go here at the half. Wahoo leads 35 to 16. Left wing underneath is Clawson. He'll throw it all the way back up top to Holman. He'll try a deep contested three and Glock comes away with the rebound. Marcus will take it himself across the middle left to right. Find Simons to Kaminsky. Jace a three. Boy, it looked good from here, just too strong. And the rebound gathered by the Pioneers and down they come the floor quickly. Left wing, it's Rovetto. Clausen trying to find Holman, gets it into the right corner to Adazan. <laughs> Daniel Adonza, sorry. And now an official's timeout as Holman lost his shoe. So Daniel Adonza, he averages six points and three boards a game, has three. And Wahoo leads 35 to 19 with 4.15 to go here in the second quarter. Simons left to right, walks it across the W here in Wahoo. It's a zone defense now for the Pioneers. See how the Warriors attack it. Kaminsky to Simons to Lavalley to Kaminsky. Nice cut and laid in by Eli Shada. That's the exact play that Kevin Sheaf wanted to run, and it was perfect. And a timeout called by Nebraska City after breaking the full court press. 3.48 to go in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 37, Nebraska City 19. You're tuned into Warrior Basketball in Saunders County Online, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern nebraska back to 1893 so give us a call at 402-443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown wahoo nebraska today the outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances quality of life and community Austin McNorton and Sam Markson back here with you at Wahoo High School. For this Monday night, the first round of the Trailblazer Conference Tournament, it's Wahoo 37, Nebraska City 19, after the Pioneer timeout with 3.48 to go here in the first half. It'll be Pioneer basketball to throw it in right here on the near baseline, close to the Warrior bench, where Adonza will throw it in at half court to Mitchell Hodges. Warriors back to a man-to-man -man defense now after going 1-3-1 there for a moment. Holman into the lane, missed, oh, it fell in. Got the shooter's roll there right inside the free throw line. Holman now has eight to lead the Pioneers in scoring as Wahoo leads 37 to 21 with the basketball and 325 to go in the second quarter. Pioneers still in his own defense. Right corner to LaValle to Shada, another cut. Eli missed it, Cody knew he missed it. Cody can't put the put back in right in front of the rim, though. It's kind of been the problem for Wahoo tonight. They've been so good on the offensive glass, but they just haven't been able to finish the bunnies right back. Offensive rebound put back won't go for Nebraska City. Little Valley clears it to Hesser. Cody crosses to his left hand and kicks it out left corner. Kaminsky finds LaValle to Shada, right short corner. Eli back to LaValle. Barrett to Kaminsky to Hesser. Layup, yes. That is absolutely tremendous ball movement from Wahoo. Ball touch all five players, and it's a layup for Cody Hesser. And with 2.35 to go in quarter number two, the Warriors lead 39-21. to 21. Holman left corner. Kesson dribbles the baseline, cut off by Kaminsky. Adonza three. Yes! Second three, Daniels hit. He's got six, which is his average. 2.20 to go in the second quarter. Wahoo leads 39-24. to 24. Glock, back door to Hesser. Pump fake, layup, good. Cody Hesser with four quick points. He's got six. And with 2.08 to go in quarter number two, Wahoo leads 41 to 24. Adon's at the top of the key. Gets around Hesser, kicks it back out. Now has it on the left wing guarded by Kaminsky. Skips it to Holman right wing. He'll try a three. 
too strong. Shade of the rebound for the Warriors. Kaminsky near side, left to right quickly. Jace dribbles it all the way to the baseline and back out to Glock. Top of the key three from Marcus is buried. The Northwest Missouri State Bearcat has 15, and Wahoo with their largest lead of the night, 44-24, with 1.35 to go here in quarter number two. Three is answered. What a shot for Rovetto. He has five, and Wahoo leads 44-27 with a minute 25 to go here in the second quarter. Glock drives and kicks. Lavalle pump fakes the three, dribbles baseline. Back to Hesser. Cody back to Glock. NBA three this time. It's short. Rebound to Kaminsky. He lost it. Holman gathers it for the Pioneers and throws it up ahead. Three on one for Nebraska City. And a layup is put up and in by Caleb Walker. 60 seconds to go in the second quarter. Wahoo leads 44 to 29. Glock gets around the defender, drives and kicks to Hesser. Left corner three for Cody. In and out. Rebound to Shada. Eli got hit from behind. I'm going to say probably not a shooting foul. And no, it's not. Simons, Brigham, and Elliott all come back into the game for Wahoo. Actually, Elliott is sitting on the bench but won't come in. Well, now he will come in. 49 seconds to go in the second quarter, and Wahoo leads 44-29 to with the basketball on the baseline on the left side of the rim. Glock looking to throw it in and does to Simons. A spin move for Dillon. We'll bank it in on the right side. Dillon with 12, and Wahoo leads 46 to 29 with 40 seconds to go in the second quarter. Holman at the top of the key, guarded by Simons, a little jab step. Dribbles into the elbow, leaves it down low, and the layup is put up and in by Clawson. He has eight now, and Wahoo leads 46 to 31 with 24 seconds to go in the second quarter. Top of the key, here's Marcus Glock. He'll pull it out to half court, and looks like the Warriors will hold for the final shot of the half with, at most, a 15-point lead. Glock uses a couple of screens, gets to the left block, floater off the glass and good. Marcus with 17 here in the first half, one second to go. That's the end of half number one. And after two quarters of play, it's Wahoo 48, Nebraska City 31. It's time now for our halftime show, and we're going to thank all of our sponsors. You're tuned in to Warrior Basketball on Wahoo Public YouTube and Saunders County Online, and we'll be right back. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Wahoo State South Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bring home happy from the Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy. Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 
Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for a new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card, every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbankne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443-3225 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community Honestly, standing. consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man, family run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Home Team Advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo, Wahoo DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Marine Home Happy. Dollar General is looking for you hiring all positions and all shifts they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2000 sign on bonus you can find details by going to dollargeneral.com/careers or by texting DG warehouse to 25000 must be 18 or older but again starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2000 sign on bonus contact them now dollargeneral.com/careers if you're looking for a new get career, our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbankne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank. You're good. Welcome back to Wahoo Public High School on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you at the half of the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference in Class C1. Let's go ahead and before we look at the stats of the first half, by the way, it's Wahoo 48, Nebraska City 31 here at the half. Other games happening tonight, number four, Malcolm hosts number five, Plattsmith. The winner of that game will cross your fingers unless something drastic happens will likely be here in wahoo to take on the warriors on thursday night that game will tip off at six and then on the bottom of the bracket it is three seated platteview hosting six seated beatrice and two seated ashland greenwood hosting seven seated ralston so that those games are also happening they tipped off at seven o'clock and six o'clock in Ashland and Platteview 
here on this Monday night. So the bracket will look a lot different. And the rest of the games will happen on Thursday. So Wahoo, if they're able to hold on in the next 16 minutes with a commanding 17-point lead. If they're able to hold on, they will play the winner of Malcolm and Plattsmouth. And I'll see if I can get a score update um, of that game if anything's been posted of, of what's going on there. Don't see anything from their athletics. So nothing posted for their basketball team tonight in the 4-5 game. As far as this game goes, again, Wahoo leads at 48-31. to Leading the scoring for Nebraska City, it's eight points for Caden Clausen and eight points as well for Keston Holman. It is six points for Daniel Adazania, Adanza, I should say, five points for Sam Rovetto, and two points each for Kalen Fritch and Caleb Walker off the bench. For Wahoo, it's 17 points for Marcus Glock. Great to see that after he was held in check on Saturday afternoon against Blair. 12 points for Dylan Simons, and then it's six points each for Kyler Elliott, Cody Hesser, and Eli Shada, and then a made free throw for Barrett LaValle. That's the scoring breakdown that I have there in the first half. It's Wahoo 48, Nebraska City 31. We're about 90 seconds away for the start of quarter number three, so don't go anywhere. We're going to thank a couple more of our sponsors, and when we come back, we'll get you set for the start of quarter number three, where it's Wahoo 48, Nebraska City 31. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be right back. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal game. We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Continuing Pharmacy. to be family run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot oil and propane is goose again. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wahoo, Nebraska. Wahoo Public High School on Wahoo Public. YouTube and Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you for this Monday night in the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference. It's Wahoo 48, Nebraska City 31 as we start quarter number three with the Pioneers getting the basketball first. Again, in the road, black unis with gold numbers. They are going left to right now. Wahoo in the home white uniforms with blue numbers will be going right to left. So Nebraska City with it. Right wing, it's Holman guarded by Simons. A couple of jab steps. Now Hesser switches onto him. To the left side to Fritch. And now back up top to Holman. He'll try an NBA three from the top of the key and puts it in. He's in the double figures. The first pioneer in double figures with 11. And Wahoo leads 48 to 34 with 7.30 to go in this third quarter. Here's Elliott to the free throw line to Simon's left wing and gets it back. Glock right side. Marcus fakes the handoff to Hesser. Dribbles into the lane and kicks it to Elliott in the corner. Kyler dribbles baseline. Spins around to Hesser. Cody into the lane. Double team. Kicks it out. Brigham will drive behind the back to Simon's right wing. Good defense right now from the Pioneers. Elliott underneath. Leaves it for Simon's scoop reverse layup. I think he got too fancy that time. Probably could have just gone up with the left hand. Instead, he tried to reverse up and under, kind of windmill it. Couldn't put it in, and back come the Pioneers. Another three. This time it won't go, and Simon's the rebound. Dylan with no numbers, gets it ahead of Glock. Marcus into the lane. That'll be a, oh, I'll be honest. I thought it was a charge, too. All the Pioneer fans here were sitting around. The few of them there are, and head coach Tom Allsweed. We all thought it was a charge, and it'll be two free throws for Marcus Glock. 6.46 to go in the third quarter. 
Marcus back at the free throw line. He's got 18 points now and puts Wahoo up 49-34. It's the second personal foul on Mason Von Felt and Nebraska City's first team foul here in the third quarter. Marcus, second, got it. He has 19 and gives Wahoo a 50-34 lead with 6.42 to go in the third quarter and Dylan Simons fouls in the backcourt as a Nebraska City's Holman was about to break the full court press. Really on his own, good ball handling. For the six foot 11, or <laughs> six foot one, if I can read my own handwriting, senior. Not 11, that would be pretty drastic. Here's Fritch, he had three fouls in the first half so didn't get a lot of minutes. He's back in now and then Dylan Simons kind of tripped over himself and fell right into Caden Clawson for a foul. So Dylan Simons picks up two quick fouls and now has three total and will have to come out. It's the second team foul on Wahoo in this third. Both of them on Simons, he'll come out. Inbounds, thrown underneath to Fritch. He spins around Hesser, missed the bunny. Offensive rebound, Clawson and Hesser swats it. Right to Elliott, up to Glock. Marcus dribbles baseline, spins off the glass with the lefty and good. 21 for Marcus Glock, and Wahoo leads 52 to 34 with 6.13 to go here in the third quarter. Right wing, in and out of the hands of Von Felt, lost it, and he goes off of Keegan Brigham, they say, and out of bounds. 6.08 to go, third quarter. Wahoo leads 52 to 34. Nebraska City with the basketball, kind of in an awkward spot to throw in the ball in the far right corner. And they get it to the right wing to Von Felt, and now up top to Hodges. Hodges to Holman, into the lane, missed the layup. Offensive rebound for Clawson again. He'll go up, missed the layup, got it again, tried throwing it off of LaValle. It finds its way all the way to Brigham for the lefty layup. Keegan Brigham's into the book for the first time tonight. He averages five points a game. And then Hesser gets the steal and gets fouled, and it will say not a shooting foul. But the full court press works for the Warriors again, and it is the fourth personal foul on Fritch who will, as of right now, stay in the game with those four. Nope, there it is in the last second. Daniel Adonza comes in for him. Might have heard me. And Kalen, unfortunately, he averages nine points a game, but the fouls have been unfortunate for him tonight. Perfect inbounds, and LaValle gets stripped on his way up, and it goes out off of Nebraska City out of bounds. 5.44 to go in the third quarter. Wahoo leads by 20, 54-34. Inbounds again for Wahoo, and this time they get it to Brigham at half court. Back to Glock left corner. Marcus will try that three and buries it. Marcus Glock has his average 24 points a game, and Wahoo leads 57 to 34 with 531 to go here in the third quarter. Marcus nearly got the steal. Holman takes it to the right wing and kicks it out. Three on the way. Adonza, no. Glock rebound. Marcus takes it himself right to left across the timeline. Hesser. Wide open, Brigham, right corner three. Keegan, too strong. Marcus, offensive rebound, has it. Spins around, goes up, missed the layup, and the rebound's loose, back to Hesser. To Elliott, Kyler into the lane. Nice pass fake, but missed the layup. Boy, he did everything except finish. That was an incredible pass fake, and it's one of those situations where you're like almost too open and not good. The layup on the other end is put up and in by Mitchell Hodges, his first bucket. And Wahoo leads 57 to 36 with 4.41 to go here in the third quarter. Here's Hesser on the right block. Cody, a post move off the glass and good. Actually, that wasn't Hesser, that was Elliott underneath. Kyler Elliott battling underneath. He has eight, and Wahoo fouls just across the timeline. That'll go against Barrett LaValle. His first and Wahoo's third team foul here in the third quarter. 4.31 to go in the frame, and Wahoo leads 59-36. to Pioneers have the basketball in front of their sideline where Daniel Adonza will throw it in. He throws it to the right short corner to Clawson. Caden back up top, guarded by Glock with 4.23 to go in the third quarter. Adonza, Shada switches on him. Daniel dribbles in, layup foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two as he got knocked to the ground. Fourth team foul on Wahoo. And that one will go against Barrett LaValle again, his second. Yeah. 
Donza at the free throw line this season, a 56% free throw shooter. As this Nebraska City team averages 47 points a game, 28 rebounds and 10 assists. They shoot just 34% from the floor and only 51% from the free throw line. As the first free throw won't go for Daniel. Got the second, he has seven. And Wahoo leads 59 to 37 with 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. Blocked right to left, sets up the Warrior offense. Takes a screen from Hesser to the top of the key. Step back three, boom! What a shot, what a bucket for Marcus Glock. He's got 27. Now Adonza has it right wing, trying to answer. His three's an air ball, missed it to the left. And Clausen stepped on the baseline, trying to save it. Simons comes in for Hesser as Wahoo leads 62 to 37 with 3.55 to go here in the third quarter. Wahoo with the basketball, Kaminsky right to left. Left wing LaValle, down low to Shade on the left block. Eli a pass fake, layup good off the glass. He's been great off the bench tonight, he's got eight. And Wahoo leads 64 to 37 with 3.38 to go in the third quarter. Dribbling baseline, losing the basketball. It's still loose. Shada comes away with it. Gets it to Glock, to Simons, Dylan to Kaminsky. Layup, no. Put back, yes, for Simons. Off the Kaminsky miss. Dylan has 14. And Wahoo leads 66 to 37. Kaminsky the steal to Simons. Layup, good. Simons now with 16 off the Jace Kaminsky steal. And Wahoo leads 68 to 37 with 3.08 to go and a timeout called by Nebraska City as they broke the half court line. 3.09 to go in quarter number three. It's Wahoo 68, Nebraska City 37. You're tuned into Warrior Basketball in Saunders County Online and we'll be, we will be back in 30 seconds. Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25,000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. And welcome back to Wahoo, Nebraska on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you on this Monday evening for the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference Varsity Boys Tournament. It's number one seed Wahoo 68 versus number eight seed Nebraska City 37 with 3.09 to go here in quarter number three. Set to throw it in as a Donza right in front of his head coach and he'll throw it into the backcourt to Mitchell Hodges who will set up the Pioneer offense on the far side. Mitchell takes the screen to the top of the key. A couple of switches, loses the basketball, got it back, it's still loose, and then finally taken away by Kip Brigham, who's into the game. To Kaminsky, to Shada, layup good with the left hand. Eli now into double figures with 10. 2.47 to go in the third quarter, and Wahoo leads 70 to 37. Kip nearly got the steal, but fouled instead. That's Wahoo's fifth team foul, and it'll be two free throws for the Pioneers. Kip Brigham, the five foot 10 sophomore. Definitely remember hearing his name a lot from the football season. He averages three points and two rebounds a game on the basketball side of things. Younger brother, brother to Keegan. Yes, he is. Couple of football guys after Wahoo's state runner up season, including Sam Markson sitting here to my left. But you also have Kip Brigham, Harry, Harry Krieger, Landon Fye, Caden Christen, Jace Kaminsky, of course, starting quarterback, Eli Shada, starting defensive end. And neither free throw will go, but it's an offensive rebound for the Pioneers, and they will reset, as well as Eli em Emerson on this varsity squad. Right corner, three on the way for Rovetto won't go. Shada the rebound for Wahoo. Gets it to Simons on the far side, right to left, up ahead to LaValle, right corner. Now to the left wing to Kaminsky. Jace, floater, just inside the free throw line is good. His first bucket. He had 14 points on Saturday afternoon to help Wahoo beat Blair, but there's his first points tonight. 
as Wahoo leads 72 to 37 with 208 to go in the third quarter. Clawson runs over a defender, leaves the layup short. Rebound to Shada again to Simons. And Dylan right to left across the half court line. Dylan to Shada. Nobody picks him up. Eli to the rim gets blocked from behind. Ball is loose and kicked out to LaValle. And then Barrett throws it right off of Holman and a turnover. Quickly down the floor goes Adonza and Barrett swats it out of bounds. Barrett LaValle, there's another name from the football squad this season. And here comes Harry Krieger into the game for the first time, as does Kyler Elliott. 145 to go in the third quarter. And Wahoo leads 72 to 37. As all the reserves, except for Elliott, into the game now for Wahoo. So we won't see Marcus Glock again, I'm betting. Probably won't see Cody Hesser again. Maybe Dylan Simons, probably not Keegan Brigham. As Kip into the game to Kaminsky, two-hand layup is good. Four points for Jace as Wahoo leads 74 to 37 with a minute 25 to go here in the third quarter. Holman stripped, ball is loose. Kaminsky dives on the floor, finds Kip Brigham back to Kaminsky. That's a heck of an effort from Kaminsky who takes it all the way to the bucket. Fouled, almost got the hand one. Wow, what a sequence there for Jace Kaminsky with a minute 12 to go in the third and Wahoo a 74-37 lead. Wow, they're gonna say that wasn't a shooting foul. What was he doing? If he wasn't shooting, Caleb Walker into the game, as is Landon Five for Wahoo. And Landon will replace Elliott. So now all of the reserves are in the game for Wahoo. Probably won't see the starters the rest of the night, I would bet. Shada gets blocked but fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Another really successful inbounds play for the Warriors. Seventy seconds to go here in the third quarter. Wahoo leads 74-37. Shada back at the free throw line, left the first one short. He's only a 67% free throw shooter this season. Hasn't been great at the line tonight. Has been pretty great in every as other aspect of tonight's game. Offensive rebounds, layups at the rim. Puts in the second, he's got 11. And Wahoo leads 75 to 37 with 107 to go here in the third quarter. Right wing, here is Landon Ferguson who just checked in for Nebraska City. Up top to Walker. Caleb to the left side to Rovetto, in underneath to Clawson. He's double teamed, gets around Shada and back up top. Rovetto around a defender to the left wing, hands it off to Walker and now back up top to Ferguson. Right side, Von Felt. Good defense from Harrison Krieger. Harry picked it. Here comes Landon Fye. No numbers for Wahoo. Fye trying to find a cutter. Throws it off of Kip Brigham's face in the turnover. Back come the Pioneers. Rovetto in underneath to Ferguson. Nice pump fake and then Shada blocks it, but Krieger's out of bounds grabbing the loose ball. Caden Kristen comes into the game now for the Warriors, as does Keegan Brigham back in there. 27 seconds to go in the third. Wahoo leads 75 to 37. Pioneers with the basketball on the baseline. Walker hands it to Ferguson right wing. Back to Walker in the corner. Back to Ferguson underneath. Loses it. Doubled. Kicks it back out. Top of the key. Robeto a three. Rattles it in. Sam has eight points off the bench tonight for the Pioneers. And Wahoo leads 75 to 40 with seven seconds to go here in the third quarter. Five, top of the key, dribbles in, floater, rattles it in. Landon Fye in the scoring book. And after three quarters of play, it's Wahoo 77, Nebraska City 40. You're tuned in to Warrior Basketball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can...
And welcome back to Wahoo, Nebraska on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton and Sam Markson here with you on a Monday night. It's the first round of the Trailblazer Conference. Number one, Wahoo leads number eight, Nebraska City, 77 to 40. So Wahoo will play on Thursday at six o'clock against the winner of Malcolm and is it Platteview? I think it was. Platt Smith. It's always tough to remember those. Fi on the right wing, gets it to Creer in the right corner. It's a two three zone for the Pioneers. It finds Brigham, Kristen at the top of the key. Back to Brigham, left corner. Back to Kristen on the wing. Right side, Phi. Landon to the elbow. Backdoor cut to Brigham, and Keegan lays it in. It's a great pass on that back side. And Wahoo leads 79-40 to with 7.27 to go in the ballgame. It's the fourth point for Keegan Brigham, who's the lone starter out there for the Warriors. Right wing, it's Von Felt. He needs help and skips it to Holman on the left side, guarded by Krieger. Holman, back up. Brigham nearly got the pick six. Now to the left wing to Holman, and the three is short. Rebound to Fye. Landon, pushing the tempo, leaves it for Brigham on the right wing and gets it back. Fye, right corner three. It's too strong. Long rebound. It's loose, still loose at half court, and the Pioneers grab it. Holman to the near side to Hodges. Hodges around Kristen baseline. Nearly stepped out of bounds. Kicked it to the left corner for a three that won't go. Rebound loose and a foul will be called on the rebound against Wahoo. Trying to box out Kate, trying to box out Caden Clawson on that backside. LaValle back into the game. As is Brody Johnson for the first time. The six foot ten junior. Doesn't see a lot of varsity action, but he's back in there for Wahoo. LaValle. Guards the defense, rebound gathered by Johnson, and over to LaValle far side with 6.32 to go in the fourth. LaValle in down low to Johnson. Brody missed the bunny. He was honestly too far underneath the rim, and with his lone wingspan, just hit it right off the front of the rim. Holman, left corner three, is rattled in. He has 14 points tonight to lead Nebraska City, and Wahoo leads 79-43 to with 6.10 to go in the fourth quarter. Right corner is LaValle. Left wing to Fye. Fye skips it to the right corner. Back out to Kristen. Right wing three for Caden is buried. Caden Kristen averages two points a game. He has a three. And Wahoo leads 82 to 43 with 5.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Dribbling baseline. Shot blocked by Johnson out of bounds. couple of subs for Nebraska City. And Wahoo leads 82 to 43 with 547 to go in the ball game and Nebraska City will have the ball on the baseline on the left side of the rim. Left wing, it's Ferguson to the left corner. Three on the way, it's too strong. Rebound gathered by Kristen. Nice rebound for Caden. And he'll take it right to left to Brigham. Right corner, LaValle into Johnson. It's punched out by two different Pioneers. Pass was just a little bit late. And the Warriors will have it on the baseline, leading 82 to 43 on the right side with 5.33 to go in the ballgame. LaValle will throw it in for Wahoo. Out to Kip Brigham on the right wing, up top to Kristen. Caden to LaValle right corner. Barrett lobs it to Johnson in the left block. Good save by Brody up top to Brigham. Kip to Kristen. Back to Kip. Back to Kristen. To Johnson left block. Brody will go up and get fouled and go to the line to shoot a couple free throws. Good post position underneath for Brody. Actually don't, yeah, I think this is his first attempted varsity free throws. That foul went against Kloss in his second and the first team foul against Nebraska City here in the fourth quarter. Johnson misses the first off the back iron and Landon Five will come into the game for Wahoo. Stay tuned post game, we'll talk to Warriors head coach Kevin Sheaf after this victory and their preparation for what awaits them on Thursday. We still don't know. Johnson goes 0 of 2 from the free throw line, and the rebound is gathered by Caleb Walker. Right corner, it's Ferguson. Up top to Hodges. Now back to Walker. Right corner, Hodges dribbles baseline. Fall away shots too strong. Rebound goes off of the hands of Brigham. 
And now back out to the Pioneers. Hodges around five and Landon re wrapped around and fouled him. Trying to see if I could find that Plattsmouth and Malcolm score. Walker has it in the left corner for Nebraska City. Finds Clawson underneath. He'll kick it back to Walker. Right corner three on the way. It's too strong. And the rebound to Caden Kristen. Up ahead. Here comes Harrison Krieger. He's hit from behind. Banks it in and one. Harrison Krieger with two. And that will officially be begin the running clock. As Wahoo now up 40 points. The running clock starts. So I'll update you as much as I can on that. We're at 420 left in the ballgame. And that thing will keep running. Wahoo leads 84 to 43 as Harrison Krieger scores his first points tonight. No update from Malcolm's Twitter. Let's see if Plattsmouth has anything. And the and one free throw for Krieger won't go. After three quarters of play, Malcolm leads Plattsmith 34 to 25. Thank you, Plattsmith Activities Twitter account. Missed shot on the other end for the Pioneers. Wahoo leads 84 to 43 with 3.37 to go in the ball game. Kristen dribbles into the lane, dribbled it off the foot of a Pioneer. A turnover, and here comes Nebraska City for a sideline left to right to Walker. Walker. Back up top, three on the way for Rovetto. Short, long rebound, five grabs it for Wahoo. Landon up ahead to Johnson, balls loose. He got it back, missed the layup. Rebound to Krieger, Harry saves it. Up top to Brigham, Kip to Johnson. Layup, good. That's the bucket Wahoo was trying to get. Brody Johnson right at the rim, puts it in. That gets the whole Warrior bench up on their feet. And Wahoo leads 86-43 to with 2.58 to go in the ballgame. Walker to the left side to Rovetto. Around, right wing, three on the way for Ferguson, won't go, five the rebound. Landon pushing the tempo again for the Warriors. Gives it to Johnson, and Brody flushes it. Well, that's what six foot 10 can do for you. And a timeout is called, a substitution timeout is called by Nebraska City. So that'll stop the clock for just a moment after Brody Johnson gets the two-hand dunk and the Warrior bench is still standing on the, on the left side of your screen. 2.37 to go in the ball game. Wahoo leads 88-43 to with the running clock starting again. Left corner, Brigham nearly had it and does indeed force the turnover as it goes out of bounds off of... Trying to think, see who that number was over there. It looks like 13. That's Alex Martinez for the Pioneers. And back come the Warriors right to left. Bring him at top of the key. Gets it to Krieger left wing. Harrison dribbles the baseline. Pump fake. Johnson through his hands. Brody pulls it out to the right corner. Up top to Fi. Landon takes a screen. Back in down low to Brody. He'll go up and lay it in again. Brody Johnson with six points here in quote unquote garbage time as they say. A minute 55 to go in the ball game, and Wahoo leads 90 to 43. Landon by the steal. He'll go up and lay it in. He honestly looked like he was thinking about lobbing it off the glass to Johnson, but he didn't. <laughs> Here's Walker down the floor. Layup good. Nice shot for Caleb Walker. He's got four points tonight. And Wahoo leads 92 to 45 with 91 seconds to go. Kip Brigham into the lane. Scoop layup, no. Johnson rebound, yes. Put back even better. Boy, Brody Johnson with eight points here off the bench for Wahoo. And Wahoo leads 94 to 45. Walker three won't go. Fi the rebound. And here come the Warriors again. Fi quickly. Let right layup is good. Landon Fi with six points for Wahoo. And with 103 to go in the ball game, Wahoo leads 96 to 45. And head coach Tom Allsweed, I think, telling his players to maybe just run out the final minute of this game. Walker has it at the top of the key to the right side to Ferguson. Ferguson into the right corner to Martinez. Martinez back to Ferguson on the right. Now up top to Walker. Walker to the left side. There's Martinez again taking a screen. I think. Nebraska City is trying to run out the rest of this game. 
Deep two on the way, just inside the top of the key is banked in. That's number 15 for the Pioneers, and that is Jordan Barons. And that will be our final score. Well, what a victory it was. And <laughs> nice, really nice to one, rest some of these starters for the Warriors, and two, get some much needed, valuable experience for some of these young guys for both teams. As the final score will be Wahoo at 96, Nebraska City 47. You're tuned in to our post-game show now here on Wahoo Public YouTube and Saunders County Online. We're going to thank all of our sponsors. I'm going to tally up some numbers here, come back, give you your final stats, and talk to Warrior head coach Kevin Sheep in a moment. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned in to Warrior Basketball as Wahoo wins at 96-47. to We'll be right back. Continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Bank gives South you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Wahoo Bank DQ. DQ. We have a large variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street in Wahoo. Bring home happy from the Wahoo DQ. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25,000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. If you're looking for a new career, get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior Card. For more information, go to firstbankne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at first lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a We aspire case. to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man to be family run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. 
Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online. SouthHaven-Wahoo.com South Haven Team Advantage From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo we have State a large Bank. variety of ice cream cakes for any occasion. Made with vanilla and chocolate soft serve and filled with hot fudge and cake crunch. Grab and go cakes are available for last minute parties or call ahead and have one specifically designed for you. We also keep boxes of Dilly and Buster bars, which are great for keeping in your freezer at home and snacking on throughout the week. Stop into the Wahoo DQ today for your cake and novelty needs. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street. In and welcome back to our post game show here on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. The Warriors win it here in the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference over the eight-seeded Pioneers of Nebraska City, 96-47. to We're talking to Warrior Boys head coach with us now, Kevin Sheaf. And coach, a little bit more of a comfortable win, but were you pleased with your boys' performance here tonight? You know, at times. And, and, <laughs> uh, I, I knew you would say that. <laughs> you know, we, we beat them pretty bad down to Brass City right before Christmas there. Anytime you got to play a team a second time, you know, yeah, I just don't think you come out with the same mindset. And uh, I thought offensively we did a lot of good things. We had a lot of good possessions, uh, a, lot of pat, a lot of possessions where we made the extra pass. Defensively, though, we, the first half we did not guard like we needed to. I thought we did a better job of it the second half. But like we just talked about, you know, offense is going to come and go on certain nights, but your defense, you got to be able to hang your head on that every night. And uh, we we didn't do a good enough job in the first half. You know, giving up 31 to them in the, the first half was just not what we're looking for. Coach, how valuable are these games to get some of these younger guys some big minutes and play a big role? Because you never know when you might need them. Yeah, it, it's huge, you know, to give those young guys some, some time and, you know, get them hopefully excited about the future, get them, you know, used to that varsity competition is – you know, uh, you, you certainly want to want some of those, and we haven't had, had many of them lately to, to be able to do that. So it was nice to give give some guys quite a few minutes in that fourth quarter there. And then I know here after the hiatus with the winter storm and everything, it was a couple of tough games that were sluggish. And what, was a game like this maybe nice just from a confidence standpoint of Marcus scores 27 to say, all right, well, I can start making some shots again. It, you know, it, it was. Um, you know, Marcus – Turned the, rolled the ankle pretty bad uh, what last Monday, and you could tell he wasn't quite himself last week. And uh, you know, uh, I, I thought he looked a lot more like his old self than I thought he looked comfortable, able to push off and and, and get by some people, and he looked comfortable shooting the ball. So uh, we definitely need not like tonight heading into Thursday and Saturday because you know we, we're going to have two uh, two great games to play on on both nights. How how much do you value these kind of tournament type games where? You don't know who you're playing until really the next game's over, and then it's another quick turnaround. If you win on Thursday, then you play on Saturday. How important are these to take these into major consideration with saying these are very valuable when March comes? Oh, without question. I, I've always considered a conference tournament as an awfully big deal, you know, right right behind your, your, your district tournament. Um, if you can say you're conference champs, that's a pretty cool thing. And, uh, you know, this year we finally got to eight teams. The last couple of years we were sitting at six and then seven, and we'd have a bye that first night of the tournament. And it, it was nice to, you know, get get that third game in this year. And, uh, you know, it, it's an exciting week. Uh, th this is this is, this is when good stuff is, is made. So we, we hope we're a part of that this week. Coach, congratulations on the win. And uh, I've been updating, trying to see. It looks like Malcolm, but we'll see you on Thursday. What's the score on Malcolm? Uh, it was at the end of the third quarter. Malcolm was up 34-25 to 25 over Plattsmouth. So okay, thanks. We'll see. Appreciate thanks, Coach. You. Appreciate it. That's head coach Kevin Sheaf with us on our Saunders County Online postgame show. Let's go ahead and look at some stats for Wahoo. They score 27. Tonight does Marcus Glock to lead the Warriors in scoring. 16 for Dylan Simons, 11 for Eli Shada off the bench, 4 for Keegan Brigham, 8 for Kyler Elliott, 2 for Harry Krieger, Six each for Cody Hesser and Landon Fine. Three for Caden Kristen. Four for Jace Kaminsky. One for Barrett LaValle. And eight points off the bench there at the end for Brody Johnson and a couple of dunks as well. 
So Wahoo improves to 11-2 and two on the season. And again, they will host on Thursday night either the winner of Malcolm or Plattsmith. We'll see either the Clippers or what are they? Blue Devils? Plattsmith Blue Devils? Yep. Yeah. So either the Blue Devils or the Clippers will be here on Thursday night. And we'll be here as well. Nebraska City, they fall to 2-12 and 12 on the year and have a little bit more of a quiet week. But as far as our coverage goes here on Wahoo Public and Saunders County Online, feels like we're going to be here most of the day tomorrow as we have a girls and boys varsity wrestling duel taking place here tomorrow afternoon and then immediately following that wrestling duel we will have girls basketball in the four or five seed where wahoo in the girls side of things is the four seed and let's see trying to pull up that bracket as they will be hosting Plattsmith tomorrow on that side of the bracket or wahoo i think yeah, Wahoo's the three seed, sorry. And they will be hosting the six seeded Plattsmith here on tomorrow night, immediately after the wrestling duel. So we will be here on the air on Wahoo Public YouTube, Saunders County Online, at about five o'clock ish. Um, that's when the weigh ins start for the wrestling. So we're going to kind of time it that way. And we'll be going all the way through that wrestling duel and all the way through the girls' basketball game for their first round of this Trailblazer Conference tournament. So a lot going on tomorrow, and then we'll kick it back up again on Thursday. So we'll see you tomorrow. But as far as our coverage goes, that'll end it tonight. Wahoo wins it 96 to 47 over the Pioneers of Nebraska City. Thanks so much to Warrior Head Coach Kevin Sheaf, to Sam Markson. I've been Austin McNorton saying so long from Wahoo, Nebraska, and go Warriors.